Hello everybody, so today this is a very short and quick video about adjective suffixes. I'm going to show you uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, only 7, okay, it's, it, it's, it's a small quantity, <laughs> forgive me, 7 uh, adjectives, uh, 7 suffixes to form adjectives, alright? Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to have a noun, we are going to add a suffix, and then we are going to have an adjective, like for example danger, okay, danger which means peligro, and then we are going to add O-U-S, so that we are going to have dangerous, alright, which is the adjective, peligroso. Same thing for fame. When you have fame, which is fama, you add O-U-S and then you have famous, which is famoso, right? This is the first ad, uh, the first suffix of today. This is O-U-S. Number two, suffix number two is, for example, music, music plus A-L, so that you have musical, all right? Or, for example, emotion plus A-L. And that way you have emotional, all right, super easy. As you can see, all these suffixes are very common, very typical, so you are not going to have any troubles at all, all right? So next one is going to be, uh, uh, let's say, for example, cloud, and then you add Y, only Y, so that you can find cloudy, okay? Or, for example, you have... Uh, the, 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 the typical one, you have dirt, which is suciedad, and then you add Y so that you have dirty. Okay, so as you can see, only a letter can also be a suffix. Good, and one more is going to be, uh, for example, attract. Attract is a verb, alright, and then you add IVE so that you have attractive, and you, voila, you have, a, you have an adjective. Or, for example, create. Create, you add IV and you have creative, all right? So as you can see, you have here four different suffixes. The question is, when you have a word like, for example, sun, would you say sunus, would you say sunal, sunny, or sunny? It's logical, you have the answer, it's sunny, okay? So you are going to follow your intuition every time. Now, let me give you uh, some differences because these um, adjectives don't have meaning, okay? They do not mean anything. They just uh, change the, the word into an adjective. But there are some suffixes that have meaning. Like, for example, A, B, L, E. When you have this suffix here, it means that the word that you are creating is that something can be done. For example, you have wash. Wash is lavar, right? But if you say washable, it's an adjective that means that something can be washed, okay? It's very similar to Spanish, lavable, right? Or for example, rely. Rely is confiar. If you say reliable, it means that you can rely on somebody, okay, confiable, right? For example, you have break. Break is romper, so you can have something like unbreakable, something that cannot be broken, all right? So this is A, B, L, E. Let me show you another one, which is going to be, let me, let me check, yes, F, U, L, all right? F, U, L means, okay, let me just show you here, able. Uh, uh, something can be done, all right? When, when you have a an, uh, an, uh, suffix like F-U-L, full, it means that something is full of. For example, this is going to be very, very mm, uh, easy to grasp. It's going to be mm, use. Use means usar, right? And if you say useful, it means that something is full of use, that is útil, right? Use, useful. Or, for example, help, and then you say helpful. When you say that somebody is very helpful, it means that this person helps you a lot, all right? Or, for example, you can also have painful. Pain is dolor, and then you have painful, which is full of pain, a lot of pain. Full of or a lot of, okay? That is full. And finally, we are going to study less. Less means just simply no. 
it means no okay for example when you have uh, use again and you can say useless it means that something has no use at all okay inutil right or for example homeless you have home which is hogar and then you say homeless it means that somebody does not have a home all right so these are the seven suffixes we are starting today i think they are very easy to grasp and i think that your activities are going to be awesome and great okay so again if you have any questions at all do not hesitate to ask me okay thank you very much for watching goodbye